Last Sunday, for the first time, the video camera went out of focus during the sermon. So this is a rebreach of the sermon from last Sunday, which is unfortunate because it was very enjoyable to uh, preach this with the congregation, but this will be better than nothing at all. One of the phrases that every parent hears at some point is a child who looks up at you and says, I can do it myself. And this always comes as a surprise, because up till then they have not done it themselves, but that's what they say. And it's an important moment, it's an important developmental stage for a child, I can do this and I can do it myself. And then they start doing things themselves. Children learn to accomplish, to have a sense of competence, to understand how to work towards something, to risk, to succeed, sometimes to fail, to grow an understanding and comprehension of cause and effect. I can do it myself. This is how we begin life, but at some point, part of growing up, part of growing older, is to hit a wall and to realize that that only gets us so far. It might be a gradual experience, a gradual realization, it might be a sudden one that happens due to a tragedy, a loss, struggling with a demon of some sort. Addiction, something, a circumstance that is overwhelming, a situation that is beyond our ability, and I can do it myself, turns into I cannot. I cannot make sense of this, I cannot take care of it, it is beyond me. To hit a moment which what becomes important to learn is not that I can do it, but instead learn there are certain things I cannot. That what got me thus far. I can do it myself, just try harder. Will only get me so far, and what got me this far won't get me any further. There are, are things that my understanding, my effort, are not sufficient to accomplish. This is the transition we see happening in Paul's letter to the church of Colossae as he goes from the second to the third chapter. He begins in uh, chapter 2, verse 16, Therefore let no one act as a judge in regard to food or drink, festival, new moon, Sabbath moon, Sabbath day. Like, don't, don't obsess about that. But let, let no one judge you. Don't worry about such actions. The nature of this list matters. It's a list of things that we can do by our own efforts. Then verse 18 warns us that if we go down this path, we go down a path, where we will end up rather puffed up. Verse 23, or 20 and following. Why, as if you were living in the world, do you submit yourself to this? These decrees don't handle, don't taste, don't touch. This approach has the appearance of wisdom, a sense of humility, of treating the body harshly, but it's not going to have any value. Paul is talking about hitting the limit of I can do it myself. And you can try, try, try again, but it just doesn't work. It's important to have this, this realization individually. I can talk about it, I can explain it, but I can't understand it for you. I, I understand it myself. And my problems are not going to be handled by trying harder. I cannot try harder at being a better pastor. I cannot try harder at being a better father or a better parent. Like, I've tried, I've, I've run out of giving more try. I'm already trying at maximal level here. I, I, I can't just do it myself to solve the problems, the challenges, the needs in, in front of me. So it is good news to me and to each of us when we read in chapter 3, Paul starts to talk about a different way. Instead of focusing on what we can do, he directs us Differently, In chapter 3 of Colossians, he writes, If then you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above. Look up! That's what Paul is talking about. Look up. Don't look at yourself. Look up. Look up where Christ is seated, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not the things that are on this earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden in, hidden in Christ. Stop looking at yourselves for the answers, because if we could solve all of our problems by ourselves, we wouldn't be here gathered this morning. We wouldn't be here. 
here to receive what Jesus offers. We would not need to hear the good news that our life is hidden and wrapped up in Jesus Christ. And that's what Paul's talking about, receiving the life. When he starts to talk about that, Colossians 3, 5, Consider, therefore, the members of your body as dead to immorality and impurity, passion, evil, desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. The list of what he gives here is not a list of external things, try harder, don't eat, don't touch, don't do this, don't do that. What he's talking about are the internal passions, unrestrained and unhealthy desires to leave them behind and to look up and to receive something better. Actually, I get the order wrong. Look up and receive something better, and in doing so, leave behind what, what we might be tempted to. We look up and receive from, from Jesus. Paul continues, verses uh, 8, 3, 8. Put aside that anger, wrath, malice, slander, abusive speech from your mouth. I love that in this list we both anger and wrath. Wrath is a fun word. Wrath is anger that is so white hot that you need another word for it. It's not just anger, it's something far more, it's wrath. Which is just a great word, right? And uh, leave these behind. Like this anger, this way of treating each other, the malice and slander, these are uh, how we speak to each other. Instead of speaking to each other like that, look up and receive from Jesus how Jesus speaks to us. And in receiving how Jesus speaks to us, receive that grace and leave behind what we might otherwise be filled with. And this is not about touching and tasting, it's about how we speak. Verse 10, having put on a new self who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him, a renewal of which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, Scythian, barbarian, slave, and free man, but Christ is all and in all. When you look up, the only thing that Jesus sees looking down is a child of God. When we look at each other, Anything else is secondary. We love God. Jesus sees us as a child of God. We look at each other and we see as Christ sees. Putting on a new way of life, accepting this knowledge that all people are created and loved, beloved and forgiven is important. Paul continues. And so as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, Gentleness and patience, he's talking about who Jesus is. Look up and receive who Jesus is. Receive that into yourself. And bear, then, verse 13, bear with one another. Forgive each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also shall you forgive. Beyond all these things, put up love. Receive and accept this life of compassion, and kindness, and humility, of gentleness, and patience. As we have been forgiven. Right? Be forgiven. We'll tell you something like that. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you are being called in one body and be thankful. This is a transition from I can do it, focusing on what we can do, to receiving what Christ has done. I can do it becomes Christ has done it. It's quite the difference. I can do it is all about me and it's my own limitations. Christ has done it is about looking up and receiving what Christ offers, Christ's dreams, Christ's way of life, Christ's way of seeing people and relating to people. And we can talk about this at length, but I think sometimes seeing it is better. If this cup here is uh, me, There are times I've done things out of anger, and it has marked me. There are times I have done things out of fear, and done things that are craven, yellow, so to speak. I've done things out of greed.
There have been times that I've ignored the needs of my neighbors, or times that my family has suffered because of me. Look in the mirror and I see that I see my past. And I can't do anything about that myself. I can do it, it's gotten me thus far. And I can do it, it's gotten me to a place where I have problems and, and, and I have problems. And if I solve, rely on myself, I can't do much. But if I start looking up to receive, Thanks be to God 